What up YouTube? Back at it today. Hey, I'm sitting on a lot of video content left. We were out here at this bowl last weekend with some BMXers and uh, shout out to you guys, what up? I still got a lot of content from the duck fart ramp. That harness was pretty rad. So I've got a lot of footage to still get through. And I'm skating again this weekend, so this is current. Remember what I talked about before, about trying to incorporate some of those tricks that you're a little afraid of, you know, that you can do but you're afraid of, to um, get them to the point in your warm-up where they're regular and you're not going to be afraid anymore because every day when you come out and warm up, you're doing it a lot. So that's what I'm doing here in the shallow end right there with the front side, front side stalls, 50-50 stalls, and the front side grind. So I'm gonna just try to pop those in there, two for two or something like that. We got some girl skaters behind us. Maybe they'll come join. I just reviewed that shot right there that Killian got. I was pretty happy on that just shallow end. You know, it's like the, the goldfish pond, right? Um, felt good. That backside slash was heavy. It was kind of deep. I, I think I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. And then I went, I'm just gonna slash it and that's what we got. So pretty fired up on that. For those of you who've been with the channel for a long time, you probably remember two, three years ago I was getting these front side grinds in the shallow end, but I was having to do it really fast. And they were hit and miss, man. Some of them were sketchy, some of them were rad. Um, I wanted to come back to the drawing board now, 51 and a half, and I wanna anchor it down, like my backside, you know, the first grind I had in this little clip here. That's just a really comfortable move for me, and I want my front side to get that way. And um, so that's why I'm going to try to incorporate that thing more often here in the shallow end and get used to doing it at slower speed first and just develop the comfort zone, right? Get that thing ready that I can handle it at slow speeds. And then as I get faster, I'm just more conditioned. I've got a, I've got a better foundation at it. So uh, that's a classic example of what I'm going to do in the future to come this fall and into winter. And winter's a great time for me to skate. As long as it's more than 43 degrees in the morning and gonna warm up a little bit, I'm in. And these parks are dead, so I've got a lot of progress I'm gonna be able to make this winter. I'm gonna get the sweeper back into my run. I'm gonna get the rock and roll back into my run. Nothing drastic, I'm talking four foot rocks. I probably will never do anything taller than that in my life. So, but I'd be happy to get the four foot rock and roll back. So anyway. Peace out, guys. Take care. Get out there and do some skating. Good job today, Killing, with the filming. Good job today with the skating. And uh, as it cools down, we're going to get back out here and get a little more savage with it, right? We have not heard enough growling, guys. So the growling is coming back. Roar!